What I wanted to talk about was the uh, Bob Dylan, Joe Baez relationship, right? I mean, uh, there are a number of videos on it. And uh, the video I'm responding to here, uh, Joe Baez is singing Diamonds and Rust, obviously, about her relationship with Bob Dylan. And the reason people are interested in this relationship is that uh, it had that Greek tragedy to it. In other words, they had a wonderful relationship at a time when Dylan needed help. And Joe Baez As be the <laughs> a motherly woman as well as a wonderful singer and uh, very sexy. I uh, saw a young fell in love with the young folk singer, kind of rough around the edges, needed a little <laughs> of the Joe Baez touch and. Dylan needed somebody to help him up the ladder of success. But also, Joan was a, a beautiful woman, and she didn't make any demands on Bob, and uh, I think Bob really loved her. But it was one of those relationships that just could last. I mean, and I think all of us have had relationships where we fell in love with someone and they fell in love with us. And for one reason or another, it couldn't work out. I had one myself years ago. With uh, I was uh, hospitalized in a mental hospital when I was around 26. And I met a young lady who been in and out of the mental hospital, happened to be in right there. She was a, a wonderful soul. She was very kind and understanding. And when we got out, we saw each other a couple of times. But the fact of the matter was, with my mental problems and with her mental problems, I mean, what chance did we stand? It was doomed. I think back on it sometime. I'm glad we didn't pursue our relationship, but I still have kind of that nostalgia for it, you know. I later married a woman who was a big help to me, and uh, it's my wonderful wife. And I have no regrets about marrying her. That was the right decision. But we all had that longing for that person that we fell in love with at one time in our life who fell in love with us but for one reason or another it just couldn't last and Joe's interested and still is interested and always has been interested in political uh, causes and Bob Dylan has never been interested in political causes. He's interested in music and uh, traditions of music and poetry, but not political causes. So, when uh, Joan Baez sings <laughs> Diamonds and Rust, yeah, She's looking back on the relationship, but she knows it was it was doomed. And when Bob Dylan looks back on the relationship, singing Shelter from the Storm, and when he sings One Too Many Mornings, I think, and I have researched this at all, I've just been watching the old videos. I knew Bob Dylan when he was just breaking into the business 
Siggy to Gertie's and nobody knew who the hell Bob Dylan was. So I have some insight on a personal level. Joe Baez, I never heard sing uh, in those days. But uh, when he sings Shelter from the Storm, one too many boardings. The first one is Joe Baez was his shelter from the storm. And uh, when the storm abated, he left. <laughs> and uh, one too many mornings, well, right, that's about the end of a relationship. And my guess is it's about the end of his relationship with Joe Baez. 